As learning about the outdoors down to a science, literally, Dr. Will Kuhn is new, the director of science and research for Discover Life of America. Hope I said that right. In America, yes, excuse did. me, a nonprofit that works with the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We're thrilled to have him today. Um, he has brought a salamander because we're talking about a lot of things. We're talking about the Great Smoky Mountains, what you all do, the work you do, and your focus on the salamander. Yeah, so this is one example of the 31 species of uh, salamanders that live in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And uh, he's a neat little uh, slimy, northern slimy salamander. Are they all about and, this uh, size? They range in size. So there's some that are a little bit smaller. There's the hellbenders that get up to almost like two and a half feet. feet. Any seven footers Almost out there? seven feet. Wow. Not quite though. So you got two and a half <laughs> footers though out there. Yeah, maybe. definitely. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. How important are these to the Great Smoky Mountains? They are incredibly important. They actually make uh, their, uh, actually together, uh, salamanders make up one of the largest predators in the park. They eat a huge amount of biomass and uh, help, uh, or just part of, the, part of the ecology of the park. Part of the species that you study, talk about uh, your center and, and the focus in the Great Smoky Mountains. Yeah, so uh, Discover Life in America, our, our main project is this thing called an All Taxa Biodiversity Inventory, ATBI, which is basically just like a really extensive survey of all the species that live in the Smokies. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've been around for 20 years. This is actually our 20th anniversary. And uh, in that time, we have more than doubled the number of species that are known to the park to almost 20,000. That's crazy. Because wow. you have people pretty... looking for new species, writing them down. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, new things that, are, that just uh, have been documented elsewhere in the world, but not in the park yet. So those are new species records. And then we also have this year uh, 1,000 new species to science. So totally new species. Wow that have been discovered just by studying the Smokies. What is that like for you as a scientist? It's amazing. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, really just uh, just very incredible to, to that there's there's so much uh, there's so much to discover there. So fitting that we talk about the salamander because it does draw so many to the Smokies and you all actually have a salamander bowl coming up to protect the species. Yes. So uh, so Friday uh, Friday night at the zoo is the Great Smoky Mountain Salamander Ball. So it's an event themed off of this book uh, by Lisa Horseman, the Great Smoky Mountain Salamander Ball. It's a cute children's book. So this is, a, this is like a, a, a masquerade ball at the zoo. Um, will this be your first salamander ball? It will be my second, oh. actually. Okay. But this is the first one that I've helped to organize. So. OK, all right, because this is a great event every year. So, yes. And there is information. There's a website. There's a phone number. Five to nine at the Knoxville Zoo, Discover Life in America, helping to put this on for the Salamander Ball once again. Thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate your Thanks work. Thanks for having Exciting. Me. All right.